Hey everybody, uh, we are finishing up our latest zip farm build and uh, we figured it'd be a good time to shoot a video and kind of show you some of the considerations for a space. Like if you're, if you're planning out uh, your own zip farm, um, just kind of wanted to show you a few examples of, of what we look for and what some of the information that we require from you to be able to, to lay out a nice uh, space and a nice uh, farm ultimately um, in your space. Uh, the first thing that is really important is the ceiling height uh, of your space. Um, the minimum for a seven foot tower zip farm system is about 10 feet. And that's kind of uh, anything hanging that we need to know the lowest hanging item. So if there's any uh, heaters in the room or uh, anything else hanging from the ceiling, we need to know the height to that to make sure that the, uh, the light racks here will fit, will fit under it. Um, next, we'll need to know the actual dimensions of the room that you plan on growing in. Um, so we need to make sure that the light racks, the zip racks, everything will fit and you're able to take them out, move them around, get them planted, um, just so we can develop a nice kind of workflow for you to, to maximize uh, your labor efficiency. Um, so if you'll uh, take a look here, we need uh, the actual light racks themselves are about 18 feet long. But, uh, but the rows of, th of three zip racks here will stick out a little bit longer. So usually I plan for about 21 feet in length um, from whatever wall we're kind of going off of. Um, and then you'll want, you know, this, uh, this space on the end here is, is really ideal to be able to move racks out. I can move them around, I can stage them here. I can work on them uh, maintenance wise. Um, so you'll want a little bit of extra space. So. Really an ideal setting would be about 30 feet of width if we're gonna orient the, the light racks and zip racks in this fashion. Um, and then uh, when we start adding on zip racks and we're spacing them apart, each uh, individual light rack is, uh, is about five feet, four inches wide. And then uh, we'll space the zip racks the same width. So in general, uh, you're looking at you know, roughly five feet uh, for each kind of set of uh, zip racks to be a, a accommodated in here. Um, and that's based on, you know, our, our cool bar lighting and the spacing we want them from, from the towers to get uh, ultimate growth. Um, so yeah, those are kind of, kind of the main things. And uh, along with that, you know, um, we'll uh, take a look over here and I'll kind of show you an example. Um, it's important to know where your exits are. So entrances, exits, um, fire escapes, anything like that. Obviously you wanna have nice, quick, easy access to. Um, so you'll see in this, uh, in this layout here, um, we've got clear space uh, to the exit here. Um, in addition to uh, entrances, exits, restrooms, anything like that that you don't wanna block off, you also wanna have access to your electrical panel um, and any other kind of items like that that need to be, you know, you need to be able to access. So in this particular layout, we've put the light rack away from the wall a couple feet. So it's plenty of room for a person to get back here and access the electrical panel. And then, you know, it's just really important to know if it's a, uh, if there's any other kind of features that are gonna throw things off on the, uh, on the walls, so if there's a, you know, a little piece that's uh, kind of drywalled in that's your, your ducting or something like that, oftentimes it'll come out from the main wall, uh, 18 inches or so, which doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, we have, um, I'll show you over here, the way that the drainage lines work for this system are, It's a, it's a hard line that runs perpendicular to the zip racks. And so this needs to be in a straight line. And so if there's any of those features that come off of the wall, we need to plan the actual uh, offset based on that so that it can be a straight line, which is ultimately gonna affect the width of the room. Um, 
So just a couple of, uh, of tips and notes to uh, take into account when you're uh, you know, potentially evaluating a space to use uh, for a zip farm. Um, keep a few of those things in mind. Uh, and as always, you know, we're here to uh, uh, help you out through that process and uh, you know, we're happy to put together layouts for you um, and be able to plan the space in advance. Uh, so let us know if you have questions and uh, we're, we're always happy to help. Mm -hmm.